Hey guys, what's going on? Jocelyn Davis here with Dana Ward, and you are here for the very first time in our Clever TV Lounge. So of course we have a fabulous guest joining us, Mitchell Musa. One of our faves. Yeah. You're the first to stop by. Welcome. Of course, you know. Kind of a big deal yeah. for us. Thank you. Yes. I really do. Now you've been on it. our show like three times, I think. I feel or like so. more than that, but yeah, yeah so I'll take three. More than that. I hope that's <laughs> a good thing. No, I hope it's so. great. No, no, I like no, I like coming here, but yeah. But we're here to talk about something really exciting, Brainstorm. Yep. Brand new out, album. And, uh, Walmart exclusive, yep. which is pretty sweet. It is awesome. So let's talk, let's go like back in time and talk about writing this because I know you co-wrote all the tracks, which is huge, that's a big sure. accomplishment. So tell us about that process a little bit. It starts off with music for me, you know, I have to hear something before I can start writing on it. And, uh, and yeah, I worked with great people and also a lot with my older brother, which makes it twice as easy on me because uh, we're kind of on that same Wavelink, I don't even know what you'd call it, but we, you know, when we're making music together. It usually just spits out like fireballs. But uh, um, it started off by, I mean, goodness, we made 30 to 40 songs uh, with a ton of great people and then wow. thought of this idea to make this album one fluent, you know, story from the first song to the last song. And so we picked out the, the best ones during the time period, you know, mm -hmm. as it got better. and. Uh, and picked out the best ones from that and pretty much tells a story. So and what that was the, is the story? You gotta uh, fill us in on okay, that. Okay, well the whole story is is this relationship is about falling in love with somebody for the first time um, or the second time or like, you know, every time you fall in love, each time gets better and you think it's the first time. And that's just how, you know, I like to feel like it. You know, it's just no, like, you're right. You know what I, I mean? like it's just that. Like the first that's time. so right. And so whatever that is to you, uh, uh, it starts off with us falling in love and then breaking up and then figuring out how to get over that because that's what I wanted to portray through this album. Uh, and that's why I shot a music video to every single song because I really wanted people to get the visual uh, and how to just overcome a breakup because it's gonna happen regardless whether you try as hard as you can to make it not happen, it's gonna happen, you know? Uh, and if it doesn't, great. But if it does, Here's a here's a good a good way to go about it without going crazy in your own head. Yeah, breakups you know I mean? are are never fun. I don't no, know. I don't, and it's never definitely fun. something we can all identify with. I hope so. Now let's break. It's good, you know. It's good to fall in love. It is. Yeah. It is. So let's break down the sound. It's kind of a new sound for you. How would you describe it? It's a lot more dance and electro and vibey, if that makes sense, and much more dark. Uh, because the, the words are dark, the lyrics are dark, um, and uh, uh, it's still got its pop anthem style behind it, uh, but it's just different, you know what I mean? It's very different. And because you're like painting this picture, like if you listen to all the songs, you can kind of like sense like a different vibe yeah, in every song, track, as kind each of. track goes on, you can tell where we're at, how stable everything is, and it's like, you know. Now I know this is like probably an impossible question, but sure. out of the eight songs, which one's your favorite? Or like which one do you really feel like connected or close to? Come, Come to? back, my love. And why is that? Because it was the most uh, uh, real that I could be. Because a lot of the time when I'm giving out, when I'm writing music and I'm trying to get this, you know, wh whatever it is across in the song, uh, I'll write things that aren't necessarily true. Uh, uh, that, basically that tell my life story but not in my exact setting not in the exact time you know just but you know overall tell the story the overall you know conclusion of everything that i'm you know whatever i'm learning because i think a lot of it's too sentimental to let the world know you know what i mean but come back my love is everything really like, it's wow. the one thing that's completely you know uh, everything from where i am what i'm doing and the objects around me and, and it was just like, you know, it's a good one. So was it more difficult for you to produce and, and write that song because you were really putting no, your true emotions in it? No, those usually come so much easier. Really? It's just so, you know, just you don't have to you think at all. Yeah. You just feel everything. And, uh, and a lot of people do it like that. Every song, uh, I'd like to say that makes it more special, you know? But something really cool about your music that I also heard that you said is that, I mean, it's the only time in your career that you're not acting, you're just being yourself. Yeah, that's I true. mean, what would you say you really enjoy most about doing music? I think touring, being able to go see everybody in person and, and pretty much 
I mean, I hate to say it because this is supposed to be a job, but it's like throwing a party on the stage. Every You're day. Every day, <laughs> yeah. you're just having a party. And then you go on a bus and have a party. And then you get off the bus and party again in Atlanta, and then you go to New York, and then you're in Washington, and then back in California, and everywhere in between. And then it, it's like it, it never ceases to amaze me, or it never gets old. It's what makes a party the best? Just the, whenever everybody's feeling it with you, they're going crazy, and you know, I'm going wild, and everyone's got that whole energy around them that they're having a good time. Your no, music really is definitely dance worthy, for sure. I think that, I mean, I, usually we get everybody dancing and, and jumping around and throwing stuff. I hate to say that, but it's true. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, it is safely, stuff. but it's good. Uh, yeah, uh, you should have seen us before you even came to the studio. I mean, we were playing your music and there was water. I was, I was, I mean, I was gonna say something. It was insane. But I mean, yeah, it's, it looked like a mess out there. But uh, uh, I don't know, I, I like it when they, I mean, ugh, Goodness, they've rushed the stage multiple times, and I think that that's the coolest thing. Not for anybody getting any ideas. <laughs> yeah, you're giving pretty, everyone ideas. I think out it's here. rock star. Like I look up to those people. Yeah. I'm like, wow, really? Like, yeah, like I would never have the courage the to do something yeah. like that ever. Have you had people like literally hop on stage? I feel like you yes. have. You told us about it multiple times. What do you, what happens? You're just like high five. Okay, I love go. it. <laughs> nice. Bye. Dance with you. Uh, I don't know. I just I start dancing for some odd reason, and she starts dancing, and then we're dancing, and then uh, and someone pulls her off, and I'm like, "What's going on? Why did you do that, <laughs> why, man? Why, why, why it was a party. That? I thought it was, but um, it's good. I like it when they act out. Not, you know, but you know. But follow the rules, everyone. <laughs> but follow the rules. <laughs> and when in doubt, dance. That's yes. basically what I've gathered, that's, pretty much. That's the best way to do it. One okay. thing I do want to ask about with Brainstorm. Sure. What is the meaning behind the title? The title says a lot about an album. Damn. That title is Dan. <laughs> Good old Dan. Good old Dan. Call him out. The dirty D. Uh, he, uh, so what do you think it's supposed to I, be? I just went to my I went to my my manager, my music manager and manager and uh, Dan, and uh, <laughs> and was like I was like Dan, I I don't I, I can't think of anything for this title and I and I told him a couple ideas and he's like no, brainstorm. I was like okay, like just because I didn't even think about it. And it makes perfect sense because we were brainstorming everything we do every single day. What's next? What are we uh -huh. gonna do? Bigger, you know, making moves. And and uh, and he said brainstorm. And I was like, I'm not even gonna fight with you on this one. I'm just gonna go with that because I know it'll be done. I don't have to keep coming up with stuff, you know. So that was it. Wow. Everybody had a part in the record. You know what I mean? But it's it a was. collaborative brainstorm project. Yeah. Now, last question, oh. kind of just to like wrap this whole thing up. I have to say, Mitchell Musso walked in here looking pretty stylish <laughs> today. Not that you don't always look great, but I mean, yeah. talk to me about this suit. The suit? Yes, and about 2011 and what this new style means to you. I mean, I just, I just want to stay fresh, fly. Fitted, fitted, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to be Less like, fresh, I'm just trying, fly, to, I'm fitted, trying to be, uh, for, for me, when I get, you know, dressed up, uh, and not necessarily dressed up, but put on a suit and a tie uh, and roll out, I feel much more ready to conquer the world. Uh, when I'm in a t-shirt or a v-neck, sure, you know, I do that at my house all day, but when I'm, when I'm out and about, I gotta stay working. You know what I mean, I gotta be a businessman because if I'm not, then I can't do anything. Doing business. <laughs> so, in, in, world. in how many yeah. suits are you gonna conquer the world? Oh man, I, you I went shopping. I, just, I know. Yeah, I, just went out. I got, I got like 20 suits, but it's one of those things. No it's big like, deal. I've had, I have so many suits. I already have so many suits from all sorts of things, and so I'm just suited. He's suiting up, doing it. Suited, Ready showered, to to suited, fitted, fitted. Ready. Love and it. fly. <laughs> Of course. Fly, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. Well, thanks, Mitchell. Uh, yeah. Congrats, man, on everything. Absolutely. So excited about everything that's to come for you, your big show, which, of course, you guys have to stick with us right here at Clever TV for all the details <laughs> on everything Mitchell Musso is up to. Until next time, I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward. Have a great day. Bye, guys.